This video is part of a playlist showing how to do conditional formatting for a date column. And if you look down in the notes down below, you'll find links to the other videos in the playlist uh, that'll show you a little more context. Uh, but right now, what we're going to do is to move over to Power Query Editor. And we've imported two tables from Salesforce Objects, a case record and also an assessment where many assessments can be related to a case record. And so what we're doing here is going over and we're seeing that we brought in from Salesforce an assessment date. And then in prior videos, we talked about how to build an, a next assessment date, which is three months after the latest assessment. And then also a number of days until the next assessment, just so we have that for conditional formatting. Uh, so now with the other piece here was noticing that this is a text field because we built it. <laughs> so we can always go in and do a right click and change the type to a whole number or a date depending on what's going on. But I want to show you how it's going to look like, how it shows up in, in Power BI. So we're going to do a close and apply. It's going to bring up, uh, you know, we're now in a report. And so what we're able to do is to bring in a report. So I'm going to bring in a table uh, and make sure that we're in the right view here. So I like to do, yeah, so we're at actual size is the view that I prefer for, for this, just so we can see it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to drag this open so we have it. Um, and so we're here in this table. I can then click uh, first name and last name, and we get that information. And now I want to bring in, you can't quite see it. If I float, you can see it. Uh, but what can also we do, we can also bring this across. And if you drag it, then you can see the full name. So I want to bring in this assessment date. And it's going to say that's not going to work. And uh, we can see the details and fix this. And it's going to say you have a relationship issue, which makes sense because what we haven't done yet is we haven't actually connected the two tables. So we're going to bring our case record and the record ID together. And then what that's going to do is to create a one-to-many relationship. And we go back here to our report. Now we have it, although the dates are a little bit wonky because oh, we need to reduce the number of, uh, right now it's showing the, the component elements that we want to show is just the pure assessment date. So it's going to come up now. We have an assessment date. And what we can do is to just to, to, to shrink these things up just so we can see them. And so uh, at that point, uh, we're able then to bring in the next fields. We want to bring in the next assessment. And we also want to bring in uh, the days until the next assessment. And what you're seeing is, is that when that happens, um, this is showing up as text. So although it's a date, it's actually text. So you may need to switch this in order to make it work. So we're going to switch it to date. We're going to say OK. We're also then going to switch it here. And we're going to change the format to this format so it's consistent with the other field. Uh, and then what we need to do is to also go out to days until next assessment. And we need to change that to a number. And we can change it to a whole number. And we're going to say, OK, we're going to change that as well. Uh, and it's going to change it to a whole number and a whole number. So the other thing to note here is, is that we have, uh, for any given contact, we have multiple assessments. So what we want to do is to say we want to go to the latest assessment. Uh, and that's going to bring it down. We also need to bring up the latest next assessment date. Uh, and then the last thing we want to do is to bring up the um, the maximum uh, number of days because again we're looking we're trying to get the, the larger ones so that'll be basically bringing it together uh, that creates what we need and then the last piece that we want to do here is we want to also go in and this is uh, for the totals just if you go in in totals and you turn it off because these are dates it doesn't make sense and we can always go in and change uh, the names of these headers by being able to say here, we can go here and do a rename the field uh, and call this uh, first name. And then accept it. And just for simplicity, we can go in and change some of these so that we're also, um, we're, we're able to rename it, make sure that it's not, it's, it's just, it says maximum, right? But we can just say this would be the next one that we want to play with. Thanks for watching.